I'm OG, y'all new to the game. guys lose drop the camera here today I'm gonna be showing you how to change out two 15 amp light switches uh, single pole light switches these have on and off road on them uh, this is the same step to change one but instead there's two of them if you're thinking that this is anywhere different it might be a little bit but we're gonna get inside and see next you're gonna get a Phillips head screwdriver and go over these screws I'd go like this at first on each screw just to rip the paint or caulking whatever is over top of yours mine is caulking and paint I'm going to show you the steps to get the light switches out too now that you have gotten the screws out of them now you can see that my light switches have not even budged from their position this is where you're going to want to take a flathead screwdriver and go around where they are inserted into the wall so that you don't rip paint and you don't want to do that because it'll rip all the way down your wall. Once you get the cover off though, before you take any more steps, you should always get a tester and test these. Any tester you have, voltage meter, anything. And if this, if your tester beeps or shows any indicate of power being here, go back down and find your breaker. Come to your breaker, open it up, find your room that you're working at, and turn the breaker off and figure it out which one's which but I know my power is off already so see I ripped this out here luckily this was just caulking but if this was would have been paint it could have ripped farther down which could have led to further damages that I would have had to fix to make it look good again so it's good just to get around these tear it from here see like that pull out and as you can see this box is just full of wires don't be alarmed just get your Phillips head screwdriver, flat head screwdriver, or do whatever you want. Start on the one that's easier for you to start on. This side seems to be easier because it seems to be the start and the loops over. So we're just going to go ahead and start at this one. Unscrew the screws. Oh, wait a minute though. These were pushed into the back of these. So you could either do pull hard and get these out, or you can cut them, which I think I'm going to go ahead and try to pull out because these wires are short on the shorter side so you just get a pair of pliers you are supposed to insert something so I might just have to cut these really close to the back of this which is going to suck because I don't want to have to do this but that's what you do and this green screw was not even attached really good so we're just going to go ahead and pop the ground wire off so there's your first switch to make your life simple you just got all these wires in here and you don't know where they're going or why they're in here or what the heck they're doing so you know what the easier thing is to do is to just leave these wires be now that I've cut them I need to strip these back to a proper length find the right gauge that you need to strip now you're going to take your needle nose pliers again and put a curve into these in my last electrical video, I said that it's normally just black and not white. Forgot to mention, sometimes there are red, which also indicate hot. Neutral, which are white, could also be... Why is there a push pin in here? I see that random push pin in here. Alright then. But right, anyways, so now you're going to put your new switch in right here. Got the new switch. Take the black and the red wire, which are on, in this box. And it looks to be the black wire is shorter so we're gonna leave that one at top so he doesn't have to stretch as much Twist it down. the red wire is a tad bit longer and he seems to want to go underneath of all these guys so we're just gonna make this simpler for the wires themselves so they don't have to bend as much and see these wires are shorter so you're going to have to work in a smaller tighter space screw down the red and the black on this on the right side of your light switch 
which are these two brass screws. The ground will always be on the left side of a normal single pull uh, switch. 15 amp. Pop that on. Take your pliers. You guys really can't see this. It's kind of hard. But tighten it around the screw so it doesn't ever does not ever uh, pop off in your box while screwing it in. And the reason I say to do one switch at a time is because if you think about it, you'll you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six different wires hanging out of your wall, and you'll forget which one's which. So it's better to do that. Don't screw this in yet because it's easier for them to both go in together. Now you go over to your next switch with the same problem of these being backwired is what this is called. Well, we're just going to have to trim them. Don't trim more than one wire at a time either. That would be bad. You might cut some. And as you see, this ground is also looped around and going to the next switch. So we cannot cut that one. We're going to need to be extra careful with that one or you'll have to move to the next one and rewire it again. The easier way is just to keep unscrewing the screw. Just keep going. Screw falls. And look at that. Perfect bend still in it. Get your second switch, which is exactly the same as the first one. First, we can start with the ground because it's right here in front of us. And look at that. I ruined up the perfect bend, which is alright because you just pop it back on. Take your pliers like all the times before. Just loop it around better again. Fill the screwdriver. Screw it on tight. There you go, you got your you got two wires already ready to go. Then your switch around. Should have stripped these first because it's easier to have lots of room to do this. Strip. Strip. Curve in your wires. Bend your uh, wires. Curve around. Curve around to the right. Better way to do it. Um, this guy seems to be longer, so let's put him at the bottom. He's got more play with him. Screw him all the way in tight. Make sure all these are tight, by the way. There's no certain amount that you have to, it just has to be tight so that they never pull off, especially when you're pushing them in. That's the main time they'll come off. Just pushing these in. And as you can see, these are side by side, so now it'll be easier to get these in at the same time. Push your wire nuts back to the back if you accidentally ripped a couple of them out. If you accidentally do ever rip a wire nut completely off the wires, if you could tell which one needs to go back on, that would be good and fix that, because you do need those caps on. And if you're not sure if, those, if that's ever going to stay, take some electrical tape and hold it. To get these off, is real simple. Find a pair of pliers or anything you want. Electricians drop pliers. Bite these are called ears, what people most of the time call them. Bend the ears off. Real simple to do. If you break them off wrong, you just real simple to fix. And these don't have to be on there. So if you break these off and you weren't supposed to, it's alright. Not really, not really needed anyway. You see that one I bent wrong. Oh, came off good though. That one too. Now that you've done that, now you can screw your outlet. Or, or your switches, either or which one you've done that to, into the wall again. Next, get your plate, pop them over top, and look at that. They're perfect. Don't have to align them, and they're perfect the way they are. Take your flathead screwdriver. <coughs> Screw in the screws. Now that you've done done, put your two switches in, you flip, go down, flip the breaker on, come upstairs, or wherever your, your room or wherever this is done is located, flip your light switches, make sure they turn on. If they don't turn on, get back in here, 
check the wiring, see if you put them all on, if anything's popped off. And if you are just completely confused with what I just said there, call your local electrician. He can come out, she can come out, whoever, and give a look at these. Come back to your breaker. Find the room you're looking at. Turn the breaker back on. If any problems, this will turn to the middle or completely off. And you need to either figure out your problem or call your local electrician to come help. And... That's how you install two light switches. And look at this. It's working real great. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, favorite. All links are in the description. Um, if you'd like to see more of these, like I said, subscribe. Because we will be doing more of these electrical videos and comment below what would you like to see all right thanks for watching I don't know why